Today, we're talking about the book, Mind Your Mindset by Michael Hyatt and Megan Hyatt Miller. Mind Your Mindset is about understanding the inner workings of the mind, how our lives are shaped by our thoughts and how our mind perceives and interprets and connects information to create a narrative of or a story of our life. Mind Your Mindset helps us learn to identify the stories we tell ourselves, to separate fact from fiction, and how we can rewrite our stories from our past, present, and future to have a better, more empowering life. So how does the brain do this? Our brain is a vast network of neurons that collects information from a variety of sources, from our past experiences, what we hear from TV, podcasts, or other people, or what we read from newspapers, books, magazines, social media, or other sources. The brain takes this information in, organizes it, labels it, and links it all together to create stories or narratives that help us understand what is going on around us and how to respond. And it does this much of it unconsciously, automatically in the background without us being aware of it and as fast as possible quickly connecting the dots of cause and effect to draw conclusions and determine the reason why. Think of this process like the making of a road. When the brain first links two ideas together, it creates a grass path. Then as more information relates to it, the pathway that links the ideas or concepts becomes a trail. The more the brain connects the ideas to the trail, finds evidence that it is true or that they relate, the trail quickly becomes a well-worn path. Then a dirt road, a gravel road, a paved road, a highway, and ultimately a high-speed interstate. The more examples the brain hears or sees that connects the dots or that X causes Y, the more likely the brain will relate X with Y. When it gathers a new piece of information, like grass path, that looks a lot like an X, the brain immediately labels it an X and determines the result will be Y, the high-speed interstate. It might be the quickest way to make a decision, but it might not be true or accurate. The brain will jump to conclusions, which can get us into trouble. For example, one night I got out of bed and walked through the living room in the dark to get a glass of water and I tripped over an object. Immediately, I thought, why didn't my kids pick up their toys? Only to turn on the light and it was my shoe. Have you ever done this or something similar? The thoughts and stories we have are a mix of facts with a heavy dose of interpretation and casual links. Our brain really just wants to create meaning in our lives, to figure out the burning question, why, as quickly as possible. Why are things the way they are? Why do we do the things we do? Why do others do the things they do? Why did this happen? Why, why, why? but the stories our brains come up with are not always true. How do we know when we need to question our stories? How do we know when the stories we tell ourselves are not true or if they are? We need to question our stories when we feel like something isn't quite right. When we feel stuck or we feel some resistance, that we're not open to hearing others' opinions or perceptions. It's like we're holding our hands and covering our ears so we don't hear anything, especially anything different than what we believe. Or we feel resistance when we immediately feel defensive and we put up our guard and we put up our fists and we're ready to fight and defend ourselves. It's kind of like that country music song that has the lyrics of, that's my story, 
and I'm sticking to it, you're clinging onto something so tightly with a closed fist and you won't let go of what you believe is true. What do we need to do when we feel like something isn't quite right or we feel stuck or we feel resistant? We need to become a research scientist. We need to identify the hypothesis. We need to identify our thoughts or our story that is causing these feelings. We need to gather the evidence. We need to separate fact from fiction. What are the facts? The facts that are verifiable, real, and actual. And what are not the facts? We need to document our research. We need to figure out where did we get our information? How reliable is that source of information? And be wary of the cognitive and confirmation biases. Are you gathering all information or just the information that confirms your story and disregarding the rest? We need to review it with others. We need to check in with others. Hey, am I missing a piece? Am I just gathering just the information that's going to prove that I'm right? And then we need to come up with a conclusion. Is my thought or story true and accurate? Not true at all? Or is it partially true? So now that we've identified and realized that our stories are not always true or accurate, it's time to train our brain to slow down and see other viewpoints and rewrite our stories from the past and to create a better, more empowering story for our present and our future. We need to train our brain to see what's possible. Is there another way I could think about this? What would this situation look like from another perspective? Say 10,000 feet, or maybe right at the floor level. Or maybe it's the fly on the wall in the corner of the room. We also need to train our brain to be like a scientist. We need to experiment. We need to try things out. We need to be curious. We need to look for the facts. We need to seek input from others, whether it's books, podcasts, videos, articles, maybe even a kid, a friend, a mentor, coach, coworker they will all have a different perspective. They have unique experiences that you don't have that could shed a light on a situation and help you see it in a different way. You also need to take a break or sleep on it once in a while. Take a break from a task for a period of time, get your mind to do something else and go back to it. Have you ever been working on a puzzle or working on something and it's not working? Like you can't find any pieces of the puzzle that go together and you're getting frustrated and you take a break. You get up, you go get a drink, you go do something else. It might be just for a short amount of time or it might be for half the day or the next day. And you come back and you immediately can connect two or three pieces. Yep, we need a break. We need to give ourselves some space and some time to just mull over the ideas or let the ideas just process inside of us. We need to have that time or that space to untangle or tear down the old ways of thinking that no longer serve us and form new connections. You gotta find times when your mind can wander. Taking a walk outside in nature doing some mindless tasks, like taking a shower. Who has ever had a brilliant idea in the shower, right? When our mind and our, our we give ourselves time and space to have mindless opportunities to let our brain wander, what can come out? That's why we need to rest and sleep. I've also had brilliant ideas in the middle of the night right? It's giving our brain time and space 
to process the information and to link new things together. You are not stuck with the stories you have created. You can change them. Like playing with Legos. You can build something and then you can tear it down and create something new out of what you have. Accept the challenge of taking personal responsibility for your thoughts and your mindset. Identify the stories that you tell yourself and question them. Challenge them. Examine them like a scientist. Open up your fist to be open to other possibilities or ways of thinking. Rewrite your stories in a way that is truer to your heart and more accurately reflects reality or what you want. Make a commitment to yourself to consistently question and transform your thinking and you will be free to become a new person, a different person than you were yesterday and a person that can achieve seemingly impossible things tomorrow. There's no telling where you and your story may go. What do you want your story to be?